Hey guys, FHG here, Furry Hippo Gaming. We're looking at some Summoner's Glory Eternal Fire. So when you get to this page, choose your gender, your skin, your color, put in my promo code FHG. That is right, Furry Hippo Gaming. That will allow you to get a free starter pack. We are on server three, Phantom's Glory. Go ahead and join us. Furry Hippo is the guild name we are using. So once you do hit level 20, you can go ahead and enter into the guild. We do have room for you right now, but it is filling up very, very fast. Again, when you start the game, promo code FHG in that box. Let's go ahead and we'll get into the game. Hey guys, welcome back to some more Summoner's Glory Eternal Fire. So we're almost three weeks into this game already on level 131. So we have made some solid progression going through here. There's my boy Tobin up there running around. I've been running a bunch of instances, but essentially I just want to go through the routine of what we have been doing every single day to level up very, very fast. Of course, picking up all of your bonuses, everything that you get in here, making sure when you're coming through in the guide section that you are cleaning all of these out. Main thing you're looking for is the diamonds. So right here, this chest contains 50 diamonds. You want to amass diamonds as fast as possible. We have 1,100 up here. Picking up diamonds out of there definitely helps progression. Also looking at the warrant quests, you can go ahead and get quite a few diamonds out of here. They also do have diamond chests, which are right there. So picking up additional diamonds there. When you get into a guild, we are in Furry Hippo. If you want to come server three, you can join us on here. But when you actually get into a guild, you can pick up bonuses here. So these bonuses are very, very limited. It is based on people in the guild hitting different achievements. As you can see, you're reaching level 20, 40, 60, 80, and it goes on and on. So when one of the players in your guild hits one of these achievements, it actually allows this little envelope to go up. And this is everybody in the guild who got gems from this event or from essentially somebody hitting a milestone when it comes in there. In addition, in the quest section, there are personal quests. You want to make sure you complete all of these if you can every single day, because again, they do give you diamonds as well as the guild quest. This gives you currency for the guild. So ultimately, making sure that you do these, again, we're looking for maximizing the diamonds out of here. So when it looks at the events, um, a lot of players have said guild bosses are not worth it as of right now. They don't have a good return. Most players cannot kill them. So don't fo focus on the guild boss. In the shop, every single week, you should have enough to buy Haley. So every seven days, you're going to go up, pick, pick a, another copy of Haley up allowing you to get up her skills very, very fast when it comes to progression. She is super strong. She does that debuff with the attack rating, um, with the attack bar, which is very, very strong. Haley is a hero essentially that you want to build. The rest of these, not so much. Um, haven't heard really many good things about most of them, but ultimately Haley is the choice you want to go to. So when it comes to the bonuses, the guild bonuses, this is really what you want to focus on. And the only one that you want to focus in out, out of this one is the bonus to gold. So gold is very, very necessity when it comes to the evolution of your phantoms. So you want to get the guild as much gold as possible. So making sure that the guildies are on because this only lasts for one hour. That's right, guys. Only one hour this guild buff lasts for. After the hour, it will actually be gone and we'll go back to the normal gaining of the gold. So making sure, again, that you're maximizing that in conjunction with the personal quests where you're picking up all of this gold, the warrant quests that you're picking up gold, as well as going through a bunch of other places. Making sure all of your online rewards, you're collecting these up every single day. So ultimately, what you're going to do is, again, pool all of those resources together. Once you have all of those diamonds, big thing you want to focus on in the shop, one, buying your gold book every day, which is absolutely phenomenal. Um, everything else in here, again, not really worth buying for diamonds, especially the epic summoning books. They are very, very expensive. So ultimately, you want to pump all of those diamonds into right here, you want to pump them into your Vigor Pots. So ultimately, the more Vigor Pots that you can buy per day, and I'll show you in a minute. So as you go ahead and purchase these, you're going to redeem these, ultimately using all of the pots to go to the Battle Assistant. So out of here, we're not going to worry about the Phantom Abode. We are going to farm the Elemental Lord. So this is where we want to get the EXP. This is where we want to get the Essence, essentially, for our heroes. 
Now we're already down to level five on this one for instance. We only want to farm two. As you continue going further down, as you hit four, as you hit five, you do get a little bit more experience, but as you can see, the loot remains the same. What we want to pull out of here, especially at illusion level two, the vigor cost is reduced. As you get further, the vigor cost does become more expensive. I know you do get a little bit more reward in the way of EXP, but we don't want to focus on EXP. This is what we're looking for, guys. We are looking for all of the different spirits to have the material essentially to evolve the phantoms. So again, we are not looking to go ahead and build up um, the level in here because it does get a lot more expensive per run. We just want to go ahead and max this one out. We're going to use all of our vigor for level two again. Boom. There we go. So in two hours, 14 minutes, this is going to be available to collect. Popping all of those 60 vigor pots that we have. So essentially using all your vigor pots, going ahead, dumping it into all of these at level two will allow you to get massive, massive EXP and Phantom EXP, as well as a little bit of our essence there, but ultimately looking for the spirits that we're pulling out of here every single day. So essentially I'll log in, I'll do the warrants, we'll do the dailies, um, we do our antibias. So going through here, we do our dailies, we go ahead and complete out these. These are very important when it comes to books, also EXP. So a lot of these offer EXP um, and also runes. So we want to make sure you do these anytime they're up because they give you not only a lot of gold. Again, if we had that boost in here, you'd get that 50% boost to the gold right there. But ultimately completing those as you can. The same with the guide, making sure that you're completing these for the diamonds. Taking in turn all of the diamonds you accumulate for the day. Hopping in the shop. Go ahead and buy all of those Vigor pots out of there. That way you're maximizing your EXP that you're gaining while you're offline. In the blacksmith, there's nothing to buy in here right now. It's very, very expensive. When it comes to the boost stones, you'll actually farm those later. No need to buy those. But when it comes to the glory shop, so the big thing I buy out of the glory shop are these, the starter evolution chests. Again, we are prioritizing our focus on getting phantoms to a higher evolution level. So ultimately, this is the resource that I'm out of every single day where I am now is the level one, the rank one um, essence out of here, the rank one starter. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy those. I buy these every day. Um, Epic summoning books, while they are good, they're very, very expensive because these you will go through all of the time. You might use an Epic summoning book and it doesn't bring you any hero that you're really looking for. So unfortunately, that is very, could be very detrimental. Once you get to a certain point that you need um, a little bit higher, you can actually step it up to the medium chest, but that's far down the road because this will give you rank two, which if you're farming in the battle assistance, if you're farming the essence Lord on a regular single basis, which is every single day, you're going to have enough essence essentially to build up your phantoms to ensure that you're making progression. Once we go there, the glory store um, with this one, which comes from arena, the only thing you want to buy is this, the random fragment um, enchantment fragment. This is the only thing you want to buy. They are ultra, ultra rare. You can pick them up here. You can get them out of the gifts. So you can actually buy them right down here. And then on a super rare occasion, they do show up every now and then in the trove. And that is why I did save a little bit of diamonds. So the Royal Trove is something that you need to go ahead and increase your mastery level. So essentially you're going to update. We're going to roll this once. Then we're going to roll it a second time because it's only 50 diamonds at that point. And that is it, guys. That is the trove um, that we're going to build up. So right now we would just update it and then we would roll two more times. Um, the only exception to this rule is if you do see something in there that looks like one of these enchantments. So if you do see one of these in there, um, I would definitely go ahead and roll a little bit more to try to get it. Remember, if you have to take all of the boxes inside the trove, it is going to cost 2,000 diamonds to get the enchantment, but your only other option is one, just waiting for it to show up um, when you get the chest, so hoping that you get the one that you're looking for, or two, if you're putting real life funds into the game, they are $5 each to go ahead and unlock those enchantments. 
So guys, I hope it helps out a little bit. I'm definitely progressing a little bit. Remember, Vigor is the lifeblood of the game, meaning the more that you can farm the Battle Assistant, the more you can hop in here and get a lot of Phantoms all evoed up, get them all leveled up, but you need the resources that come from that Battle Assistant that come out of that specific spot with the Elemental Lords. So again, Phantom Abode is good. No reason to really farm it. Um, the Elemental Lord is what you want to farm right now until you have a significant of very high level phantoms. Then you can look at the boost stones, you can look at the gear, all things of that nature. But right now, definitely to make progression and make it faster, go ahead and farm that Elemental Lord. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Very, very cool game. Come on and join us. We are on server number three. Furry Hippo is the guild name. We got about 40 slots left of our 100 slots. So we've already had 60 plus players join us. So again, guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.